Welcome to Bankers Rankers. Today in this lecture we are going to solve some percentage based problems which are asked in simplification and approximation problems. In order to explain the question based on percentage, I have selected six important questions. Based on each questions which are previously asked in banking examination, I will tell you different different shortcut tricks which you can apply in order to solve this question quickly and efficiently. The first question which we are going to discuss was asked in IBPS PO preliminary conducted on 3rd December 2015. Before going into the question, let us try to learn about some of the concepts of percentage. If we have been asked 100% of y, it means we have to calculate y into 100 by 100, that is it will be equal to y. If we have been asked to calculate 50% of y, it means we are calculating y into 50 by 100, that is we will just divide the value of y by 2, that is the result will be y by 2. If it is asked to calculate 25% of y, it means just divide y by 4. These three are important points which you should remember. It means if someone asks you to calculate 50%, just divide the given value by 2. If 25% is asked, just divide the given value by 4. Similarly, if 10% is asked, then we have to calculate y into 10 by 100. For example, if y is equal to 650, then 10% will be equal to 650 by 10 is equal to 65. 10% of 649.8 will be equal to 64.98. Just shift the decimal to one left place. That's all. Similarly, we can calculate the 1% of y as y into 1 by 100. For example, if y is equal to 650, because we are calculating 1%, so we will shift the decimal two places. Thus, the 1% of y will be equal to 6.5. So you should at least remember these five values. Means if 100% of y is equal to y, 50% of y is equal to y by 2, 25% of y is equal to y by 4, 10% of y means put a dot after the unit digit, 1% of y means put a dot after the tens digit. Let us try to calculate this question. We have to calculate 39.97% which can be approximated as 40% of 649.8 which can be approximated as 650. Thus we can say that we have to calculate 40% of 650. Now it can be calculated in two methods. The first method we can write percent of 650 is equal to 50% of 650 minus 10% of 650. 50% of 650 is equal to 650 by 2 minus 10% of 650 is equal to 65. So the result will be 325 minus 65 is equal to 260. The problem with this type of calculation is that we have to do division. But generally most of us are more comfortable with multiplication and in second we have to do subtraction but we are more comfortable with addition. So what we can do instead of using this as 40 can be written as 10 into 4 therefore 40% 40 of 650 can be simply written as 10% of 650 multiplied by 4 that is 65 plus 4 is equal to 260. The results are same. In my view it is easy to use multiplication and addition than division and subtraction. So wherever possible try to use multiplication and addition rather than going to division and subtraction. So the final result can be calculated as y is equal to 45 minus 260 by or y is equal to 45 minus 20 is equal to 25. The next question was asked in SBI PO preliminary 2016. Now let us try to compute the left hand side. 230.02 can be approximated as 230 multiplied by 7.89 is approximated as 8 minus 560 which will be equal to 230 into 8 1840 minus 560 is equal to 1280. Now y percent of 1280 is equal to 960. Now this can again be computed in two ways. First way y percent of 1280 means y by 100 multiplied by 1280 is equal to 960 or we can write y is equal to 960 into 100 by 1280 by computation we can find that the value of y is equal to 75. On the other way what we should do is we have to find the y percent of 1280. Now we can simply calculate the 50% of 1280 by dividing it by 2 which will be equal to 640. Now after that we will calculate 25% of 1280 by dividing it by 
4 which it will be equal to 320 therefore we can calculate 50 plus 25 that is 75 percent of 1280 which is directly equal to 960 so we can conclude that the second way is much easier as compared to the first way it means if we have to find some percentage of something then we should at first compute 50 percent then 25 percent then 10 percent and then try to add them and try to reach to the nearest possible value this question was asked in ibps pure preliminary 2016 let us try to first solve the left hand side the left hand side can be written as 4 multiplied by 10 percent of 265 plus 3 multiplied by 10 percent of 180 plus 5 percent of 180 that is 10 percent of 180 whole divided by 2 10% by 2 is equal to 5%. So it can be solved as 4 multiplied by 26.5 plus 3 multiplied by 18 plus 10% 10 of 180 is equal to 18. So 18 by 2 is equal to 9, which will finally give the result as 169. On right hand side, it is given 50% of question mark plus question mark percentage of 80. There are two unknowns, but both unknowns should have same value. So how can we calculate it? It is 50% of y plus y percentage of 80. Now let us try to break down the percentage. We can write 50% as 1 by 2. So it will be right hand side can be written as y by 2 plus y by 100 into 80. We can take y as common and write it as 1 by 2 plus 8 by 10. Now we can equate the left hand side and right hand side and we can write y multiplied by 13 by 10 is equal to 169 or y is equal to 130. This is a very important question. This includes a lots of computation and it was asked in SBI clerk means 2016. Let us try to solve it. At first, let us try to solve the right hand side. In right hand side, we have to calculate at first 8.4% of 135, which can be approximated as 8.5%, which can be calculated as 10% of 135 minus 1.5% 1 of 135. 10% of 135 equal to 13.5 minus 1.5% 1 of 135 is equal to 1% 1 of 135, that is 1.35 plus 1% 1 of 135 divided by 2 that is 1.35 divided by 2 is equal to 0 0.675 now we can say that it will be approximately equal to 13.5 minus 2 is equal to 11.5 we can calculate it in other way also this is a very important trick try to understand it if we have to calculate it simply what we would have done we would have done 8.4 divided by 100 into 135 is equal to see 8.4 by 100 is approximately approximately equal to 12 8 yeah, 96 and 8.5 into 12 so it will be approximately equal to 100 so what we can say that is approximately equal to 135 by 12 hence the answer will be 11.5 so instead of solving this question by breaking 8.5% into 10% and then subtracting 1.5% what we can see that if we have to calculate x percentage of 135 then try to divide 100 divided by x in this example we will try to divide 100 divided by 8.4 is coming to be approximately an exact integer that is 12 so we will divide 135 by 12 let us consider other example for example if someone asks you to calculate 14 percent of 500 so what you should do we know 14 7 ja 98 means 14 is approximately dividing 100 means 100 by 14 is approximately equal to 7 therefore what we will do we will do 500 divided by 7 till now we have explained two methods to calculate percentage quickly the first method was to broke it down into in terms of 10 percent 5 percent and so on and the second method which should be tried first is divide the given percentage by 100 if it is coming to be near an exact integer then divide the number by exact integer the exact percentage 8.5% of 135 will be equal to 11.34 we can finally calculate right hand side as right hand side is equal to 430 multiplied by 11 plus 430 multiplied by 0 0.5 that is 430 multiplied by 5 by 10 1 by 2 so 430 by 2 hence the result will be equal to 4730 plus 215 is equal to 4945 approximately this is an approximate result let us try to compute the left hand side in left hand side we have been given 17.8 percent now does 100 is divided by 17.8 
or 18 we know that 18 into 5 is equal to 90 and 18 into 6 is equal to 108 so 100 is not exactly divisible there is a huge gap of 10 and 8 so we will not try to use that technique so what can we do 18% can be written as 20 minus 2 percentage now instead of calculating it we will try to sort it down from the option according to option number a 20% of 21784 will be less than 20% of 22000 that is it will be less than 4400 and left hand side should be equal to right hand side therefore it cannot be the case because after calculating 20% we have to subtract 2% more and 20% is less than 4900 so certainly when we subtract 200 it is not going to reach 4945 let us try to compute option b in option b we have to calculate 20% of 24378 which will be less than 20% of 24500 that is less than 4900 now if we subtract more 2% it will be more lower it is also not the option now let us try to calculate option number c 20% 20 of 27000 will be approximately equal to 5400 it is more than 4945 so let us try to compute 2% of 27000 which will be equal to 540 so our result will be 5400 minus 540 approximately equal to 4850 the result is coming somewhat closer to 4950 so it can be option but before taking it as a granted option let us try to see option number d 20% of 28,000 is approximately equal to 5,600. Now, 2% of 28,000 is approximately equal to 560. 20% minus 2%, it will be equal to 18%. That is 5,600 minus 560 is equal to 5,040. Now, the question is, 4945 is approximately equidistant from both 5040 that is our option D result and 4850 that is our option C result. Now which option should we choose option C or option D. Now let us try to analyze how we have calculated right hand side. On right hand side instead of multiplying by 11.34 we have multiplied by 11.5 that is we have multiplied by some larger number also we have assumed 427 is equal to 430 that is we have increased it also it means that 4945 will be actually greater than our exact result so what we can conclude that the exact value of rgs will be less than 4945 thus we can conclude that our option is option number C. Now let us try to solve this question. This question was asked in IBPS PO mains 2016. In it, instead of percentage less than 100, a percentage was asked which is greater than 100. So how can we write 333%? 333% can be written as 300% plus 30% plus 3% that is 3 into 100 plus 3 into 10 plus 3 percentage of 856. Now this can be calculated as 3 into 856 plus 3 into 85.6 10 percent means add a decimal after unit digit plus 3 multiplied by 8.56 1 percent means add a decimal after 10 digit now we can compute this the value will be 2568 plus 256.8 plus 25.68 and add them you have to do the addition but from childhood what we are doing is we are doing addition vertically not horizontally so instead of wasting your time by writing the result horizontally what you can write is you can write them vertically means 3 into 856 is equal to 568 then 256.8 then 25.68 write them vertically you already know that you have to do addition then why to waste time by writing them horizontally start writing them vertically and at final you can add them easily and what we are getting is we are getting the result as 2850.48 so the final result will be 2850 whole divided by 50 is equal to 57 please like comment subscribe and share our videos if you want to download this question paper then join our whatsapp group the link of the whatsapp group is given in the description box